In this video, we're going to look at how to load samples onto your S2400, assign them to tracks, rearrange them, and save them as kits to recall later. Before we begin, connect up your unit using the stereo outputs or headphones. We'll talk about individual channel outputs in another video. Firstly, the S2400 comes with an internal flash drive which contains some factory kits made by various artists and beta testers, but in order to load in your own sounds and save your kits and projects, you'll need an SD card which you insert into the rear port of your unit. If you need to format your SD card before use, you can do this on the unit by pressing Shift and File and scrolling down using either the encoder or arrow keys to format SD card. Press Enter or the encoder and then confirm using Enter. Next, hook up your S2400 via the USB device port into your PC or Mac. And if it's the first time you're connecting, allow your operating system to run any automatic installation it needs to do. Once your device is ready, press Shift and File and navigate down the File menu until you reach USB Mass Storage Class or MSC mode. Hit enter on the keypad or depress the encoder and your S2400 will now appear as an external drive on your computer. You can now drag and drop files and folders onto your SD card without having to keep physically removing it and connecting it to your computer separately. When loading sounds, be aware that the supported sample rates are 48 kilohertz, 44.1 kilohertz and 26 kilohertz. In terms of bit depth, you can use 16 or 24, and if you're using the classic audio engine on a track, the sound will be replayed at 26 kHz and 12 bit, although the sample itself needs to be at least 16 bit. To come out of USB MSC mode, press back on the numeric pad, which will helpfully already be illuminated for you. The first thing to understand is that there are 32 tracks and eight channels. Tracks are organized into four banks of eight because there are eight pads. Tracks are referred to by their bank letter, A, B, C or D, and pad number 1 to 8. Using the bank button we can navigate to say A1, B7, C6, etc. To these tracks you can assign a one-shot sample or a longer sample that you loop or chop up into 8 slices. We'll discuss the latter in the next video, for now we're just going to use one-shot samples. These tracks are then assigned to the eight channels and the S2400 effectively has eight note polyphony where one track can play through a channel at a time. To assign a sound to a track, press shift and the relevant pad, in this case, A1. We can now see the track settings menu for A1. Select assign sound, then SD card and you will be greeted with whatever files and folders you copied over from your computer earlier. To get the ball rolling, I'm going to this folder that contains samples I've made of my TR707 driven through a KM60 mixer. To audition a sound, navigate to it and it will play automatically. To hear it again, just press the relevant pad. I like this kick and I'm going to assign it to track A1 by pressing enter or the encoder. Check the sample is loaded by pressing the relevant pad. To jump to the track menu for track A2, just press pad 2. I'll assign a snare here using the same method. Then rim shot to A3. Clap to A4. Tom to A5. Cowbell to A6. Closed hi-hat to A7 and open hi-hat to A8. I want the closed hi-hat to choke the open so I'll scroll down to channel in track 8 and reassign it to channel 7 so that it's shared with the closed hi-hat. I will also assign the ALT channel to channel 7, otherwise track A8 will automatically switch over to channel 8 if 7 is being used by track A7 and the choke won't work. As only one track can play through a channel at a given moment, this means we can choke the open hi-hat by playing the closed. 
If you don't like a sound and wish to remove it, reload the track settings menu for that track in question, scroll down to clear sound and press enter or the encoder. This track no longer has a sample assigned to it. If you wish to clear all your samples, press shift and the settings button, scroll down to clear all samples, hit the encoder and confirm with the enter button. If you wish to move tracks and or sounds, press shift and a pad and navigate to the move slash copy sounds submenu. You can then choose the track you wish to move and its destination. Be sure to select fix up patterns if you wish the patterns to move with the sounds. If this is unselected, the sounds will move but any patterns you've programmed will not. There are then six action options that cover basically anything you'd want to do. Swap will swap the two tracks. Move and insert will move a track and shift all other tracks up or down to accommodate it depending upon where its original position was. Move and overwrite will replace the destination track with the source. Copy and overwrite works the same, but the source track is duplicated rather than moved. Move and shift works a little differently. If the from track is less than the to track, tracks will be shifted up. If the from track is greater than the to track, sounds will be shifted down. Tracks can shift to the next bank in either direction, but if you push either track A1 down or track D8 up, then they will effectively be bumped off the end and lost when using this method. So be sure of what it is you're trying to do. Copy and shift works like move and shift, but the source track is duplicated and shifted to the new position. Now I'll show you sequencing in a dedicated video, but just quickly here's a taster with the samples that I loaded earlier. If you're happy with this combination of sounds and the tracks they're assigned to, you might want to save them as a kit to recall later. Hit shift and file and then navigate to save kit as. To edit the text field, use the encoder to select a character and then cycle through the list. You can also use the numeric buttons F4 through F9 to jump to different character groups. Keys F1, F2 and F3 are delete, insert and save respectively. Kits saved on the S2400 are always saved in a folder inside the kits folder. However, kits can be loaded from any folder. To load a kit back up, use shift and file and navigate to load kit. Select it and your kit will be recalled. One other alternative is to allow the S2400 to assign a folder of samples to tracks automatically. To do this, hit shift and file to load the file menu. Navigate to Load Sounds folder, select SD card, navigate to a folder of samples, select a sample, and that sample and all samples below it will be automatically allocated to tracks for you. So if you want the full folder, you obviously need to select the top sample. You can then move them around after the fact as demonstrated earlier. One final thing, you can also manually assign sounds to tracks from the Browse Files menu by selecting a sound, hitting a pad, and then confirming. And that concludes loading sounds, rearranging sounds, and saving kits. <laughs>